Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. We're back with the Windows 10 build videos. This is a look at 14915 Redstone pre-release that says, oh it's actually Redstone 2. And we're going to take a look at what's new in this build and what's changed in it. So, one of the first things we're going to see here in settings is a change in the way that updates can be delivered and here it is choose how updates are delivered now you this has been on before uh, I think this was introduced back in November but the main change in this one now is it not only does it do um, PC builds so you know and Windows updates it also does uh, apps as well so what this means is if I've got two machines like this, one here, one here, this one gets all the updates, the other one gets the updates on this one, uh, rather than going out to the internet. And you can specify here, like that, that it only gets them from the local network and not from the internet. So it means that you could have one machine that downloads the updates uh, and the apps and everything else, and then the rest just pull that machine for the changes. I think most people are by default going to have that option so that it has the option of going locally and then if it can't go locally then it goes out to the internet. What Microsoft also say that is uh, when you're using this delivery optimization um, you'll see act, uh, a notification action center so when the updates come through from another either source then you'll see that in action center. I haven't seen that coming up so far um, but we can do a Windows update just to, or do an app update just to check to see if we can see anything. Right, let's set that off there. Okay, so what else has changed? Um, they fixed the start menu where, when you clicked on that before, that didn't come up, that's been fixed. They fixed the issue with Cortana's text to speech, that should now work. They fixed an issue with the setting app, which will crash on certain. Uh, versions of Windows. I never saw that, but I think it happened to some people with Home Edition where you would go to settings and it would crash in certain screens like we're in settings now. That's been fixed. Um, they've made some pr improvements to the transitions, including uh, fixing an issue on Windows Update that would say your phone is up to date in French, um, which is an, an odd one, but that's been, uh, been fixed. Let's see if that notification has come through yet. No, that's just downloading at the moment. Um, they fixed an issue changing rings, they fixed an issue with some apps and, and Skype, including Skype Translator. They fixed an issue with mail delay notification toast, the notifications coming up. Uh, they fixed an issue with the open button, uh, the connect flyout, um, and uh, a couple of other issues with Edge. So, quite a lot of fixes in this one. No new features though, interesting. So, they're still working on the core, what will be new features for Redstone 2. So at this stage, we're only seeing sort of uh, checking in of, of fixes. And I guess at some point in the future, we'll start to see more new features added. Okay, so um, there's that store notification, and it doesn't show where those have come from. But um, maybe it's because it's just come through that from this one machine, and I've just put that on. So um, it is possible that... Uh, if I get a couple of machines set up, I might be able to find a way of, of showing what that looks like, certainly by the next time we do a video. So those are the changes. There's um, a few known issues. Adobe Acrobat Reader still crashes. Uh, you might get a black screen when you sign in and out and be unable to log into an account. Uh, reboot should fix that. Bash may not work after upgrading this build. You've got to turn off the Linux subsystem on and off. You can see the details on the... Um, on the Microsoft site, I was just checking to see if that update came through, but as you see, it didn't say where it came from. And sometimes, per going to personalizations could crash. So let's have a look. Uh, we'll see. So it's been okay on there, but Microsoft say it could potentially crash. So that's all the changes. Uh, look out for more builds on our YouTube channel on thedigitallifestyle.com. I'll have a build. Uh, I have the video of the changes to the mobile one up as a separate video.